I'm Nate Eaton here with Melaleuca CEO Frank Vandersloot. Frank, you have been actively involved in politics for most of your adult life, and this week the Idaho GOP filed a lawsuit against the Bonneville County Republican Central Committee. This is bizarre what's happened here. I'm hoping people will pay attention to what's going on with the Bonneville County Republican Party. It's been hijacked by a bunch of radicals who don't who don't who are trying to get themselves into office they perceive themselves as kingmakers to try to get this person and this person into office including some of themselves and they're willing to lie cheat and steal evidently um, as the evidence shows here in order to make that happen my understanding is that they had bylaws uh, saying give us your money we won't donate to individuals, we won't endorse individuals, we will just use it to support the Republican Party. That's how they attracted dollars in, in, in to the committee. They ignored the bylaws and said, let's in one case, in the case of Brian Smith, endorse myself and use money, give me some of that money and, and some of the other folks too. And they got caught with some of these endorsements. And so then they went back and changed the bylaws after the fact to say, yeah, we can do that, as if that will make it all okay. But they promised people they wouldn't, so they used people's money, and if you gave money to the party, you might be saying, well, we want it, um, this is my candidate, but they used the money to give it to this candidate, and then they endorsed this candidate. So totally false on that front. But then they went even further, and they, they put out a flyer saying that the official Republican Party endorses, in this case, me, Brian Smith, which wasn't true, it's totally false. He's on the committee that's causing this flyer to be written about himself and about these other folks, which wasn't true. The official Republican Party doesn't endorse anybody. That forced the Idaho Republican Party to come out and make a statement and actually to file a lawsuit against the Bonneville County Republicans, this little clique of kingmakers, um, to say, that's totally false. We don't endorse those people, and you can't say that we do. Um, and that's what the lawsuit's about. And I'm hoping people will pay attention to what's happening here. For Brian Smith to be doing this, um, to cause money to come to himself that other people entrusted him with, and to make a statement that the official Republican Party endorses me, is just bizarre. And the people that are going along with him to cause that to happen are just as guilty as he is. I think that honesty and ethics is so important. It's being ignored in politics today. I know it is. But as Republicans, we should stand up and say, no, ethics still count. Truthfulness still count. Uh, honor, um, yeah, and truth still count. Brian Smith, of course, running against Congressman Mike Simpson. And a few years ago, uh, we did a story about Brian Smith and his business. He's a medical debt collector based in Idaho Falls. And some laws were actually changed as a result of, of the practices from his company. Yeah, the Idaho legislature changed the laws after we found out what they were doing. So Brian Smith's practice is basically to, uh, uh, all about taking small medical debt, that people don't even know they have, or maybe the uh, bills that came in a year or two after surgery, um, maybe the names are wrong. Anyway, he follows up on people don't think they have the debt, and he, he then runs up attorney fees to collect a debt that people don't really think they have. And um, we did this one story. He ran up uh, a $294 debt, I believe it was, to over $6,000 in attorney fees, a small medical debt, huge attorney fees, and he went out. It was, the story was bizarre. I don't have time to tell it now. Um, and we... Uh, we went public with that and hundreds of people came out and said they did it to us too. And in some cases, he threatens to take people to jail if they don't pay these small bills. In some cases, he has taken people to jail. He's probably done more damage to um, the average Idahoan, he's destroyed more lives financially in Idaho of average working people than anybody else in the history of the state. And we're this close, I'm afraid, of putting him into office to represent our state. So I'm hoping people will pay attention what is ha to what's happening here, uh, educate themselves, and get out to vote at this uh, election because I think uh, these are important times for our country. There will be some people that say, well, Frank's a rhino, Republican in name only, he's a liberal, why not support these candidates? Well, that's another, t of course, this little faction uh, in Bonneville County, they attack 
anybody who disagrees with them. And they try to make them look bad. They call them rhinos. If they say anything that would disagree with um, them. So I'm sure I'll be attacked as far as being a rhino. Um, a few years ago, the Republican Party uh, awarded we, me with an award that uh, it was entitled the, the, the Most Valuable Republican in the State. I don't know if I was worthy of the award, but that's how uh, people uh, have felt about me. It's hard to, hard to label me a rhino. All right, Frank Vandersloot, thank you very much. Of course, Election Day is Tuesday, the primary Election Day. We will have complete coverage on EastIdahoNews.com.